Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel. The video today is about Mr. Beast Burger and all the false information that's out there, and I want to talk about how Mr. Beast Burger actually works. So, a major YouTuber by the name of The Quartering made a video on the 21st about how um, Mr. Beast Burger works and got so much information incorrect that it was very annoying to watch and since he has so many subscribers this information is spreading across the internet and part of the problem is he doesn't do much research for his videos just in general um and this is just great examples of that he just takes these articles that he finds and he just believes them he doesn't do any research himself to see if the article is really true from what i can say is about 60 percent of the time or more for his videos. There was another video I watched today where it was another uh, <clears throat> it was another video giving out some news or something like that about a situation, and he got a bunch of information incorrect because he was reading an article that was either biased or just didn't understand what was going on and just wanted to be one of the first to report it, basically. So, and I did watch this whole video. It only stops here on my computer because I picked it back up on my phone um, because I ended up going up to my bedroom to watch videos and stuff instead. So, Mr. Beast Burger is not what people think. Mr. Beast did not suddenly create thousands of jobs like the quartering reported. Yes, there's all these locations across the United States. There's 300 locations across the United States. He didn't open 300 restaurants. He started to work with restaurants that already exist. In North Carolina, I believe it's called Burger Boys. In, here in Ohio, it's a Buca de Pepo. I can't speak for Burger Boys because I haven't looked them up and done the research. <clears throat> but as far as um, information about Buca de Pepo, is it's a slightly upscale restaurant here in Ohio that doesn't even have hamburgers on their normal menu. So Mr. Beast just teams up with Book It at Beppo, adds hamburgers to his menu, and then Uber Eats picks up his created food and, you know, sends it off to whoever ordered it. Um, they're $7 hamburgers. It's a $7 or $8 chicken sandwich. Like, you can't expect much from these burgers. They definitely do look good. They look like steak and shake style hamburgers if you know what a steak and shake is uh they're heavily squished burgers very flat patties um there's a certain name for that type of patty i think it's called a slap patty i find them very good um but i generally need like a triple cheeseburger to feel full with a slap patty versus a normal hamburger which would be you know a quarter pounder a little bit thick and you know not flat. So the only way that Mr. Beast created jobs for this is people who basically use Uber Eats to make side money anyway. Um, <clears throat> I doubt most of these places across the United States are hiring somebody specifically just to do Mr. Beast burgers. If they are, he maybe created a couple dozen jobs at most, but most of these restaurants can handle Mr. Beast burger. Um, the other thing with that, and I want to make sure that I block this out just in case I accidentally leak my address. Um, I did some weird HTML trickery. I'm going to see if it's not going to be visible, but I can't promise anything. So give me one second. I'm going to put this back up because I know that should block it. <coughs> does it block it? Okay, it does. So now it can actually like, there we go. So that's where it should be. So as you can see right here, it does give the address for where the Mr. Beast Burger in Strongsville is. If you take that address, same with the one in Westlake, if you take those addresses and put them into Google, you find out they are Buca de Beppo. So if I go Buca de Beppo Strongsville, sorry keep spelling it wrong if i put that into google you can see 16677 south park center strongsville ohio where's the mr beast burger 16677 strongsville or south park center strongsville ohio it's just restaurants that he teamed up with 
he didn't create thousands of jobs like the quartering reported. Also, here's the other thing that everybody's getting wrong and that he reported. People are not getting random iPads with their burger orders from Boca de Pepo or Burger Boys or what other locations there are. Let's say somebody in, I hate this bunny rabbit. I, anybody in Ohio that wants a bunny and is willing to come pick it up, you can have it. So let's say somebody in Broomfield, Colorado ordered a hamburger. They're not going to be the one in a thousand customers that gets a random iPad. Nobody has reported free food from a Mr. Beast burger across the United States, except for the one that was in the video. Nobody has recorded free, reported free money or free iPads or free MacBooks or free game consoles or free Android tablets or free phones from a Mr. Beast burger across the United States, except the one that was in the video. Now, what I think would be very cool for Mr. Beast to expand on this would be maybe one in every state, maybe two if the state is gigantic, like California, for example, or uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I suck at remembering state sizes. Texas could have two or three. Um, what could be really cool is if he opened restaurants that looked exactly like this, just one or two across every state in the United States. Um, and did have those things where it's like, okay, one in a thousand customers gets an iPad, one in, <clears throat> you know, 500 gets a cell phone, something like that, depending on the number of customers it has. And it's themed like his restaurant, um, maybe theme it like a nineties Taco Bell. That would be so cool. Uh, opening up actual restaurants, you know, one or two in every state would be an awesome way to expand this and actually put his YouTube channel and the charity he does into the hands of more people even if he's not actually involved so you know one in every couple thousand customers gets a free ipad a restaurant can handle that especially if it's a mr beast burger restaurant where he they have mr beast for a backbone it would be so cool to see actual locations of mr beast burgers now let's get on to the food because a lot of people are complaining about the food too it's a <coughs> $7 hamburger to $7 chicken sandwich. It's a uh, it's, uh, $5 grilled cheese. Like, don't be mad if the food's not as good as you expect. The other thing is, too, I don't think he realized this, but if you actually go in, okay, you can only order that way, I think. Well... Okay, neither of these are actually doing orders right now, so I can't go in and do an order. The one thing I noticed is if you want a double, if you want an, a triple, I'm sorry, beef style burger, adding an extra patty in the options is cheaper than the $2 extra charge to make it a triple burger. So you could add the extra patty for, I think it's like $1.69 versus, and still get the double, and then it's cheaper. It's like seven something versus this which is a nine dollar burger which is two dollars more it's a dollar something extra for just adding the extra patty via that part of the menu so they need to fix that but also like i just it <clears throat> don't expect it to be amazing because it's not he's taking on the idea of fast food Maybe a little upscaled from fast food. Like, I wouldn't consider him a Burger King. I'd consider him a Steak and Shake. I really would. If you don't know what Steak and Shake is, look it up. His burgers are very similar to Steak and Shake hamburgers. So, just don't go in expecting, like, Mr. Beast to be this god sended pe person who created thousands of jobs, like, is being reported by people like The Quartering. He didn't. He teamed up with restaurants that already exist across the United States and they're selling uh they're selling hamburgers through those restaurants that you can only get by Uber Eats. There's realistically no reason to not do the 5 minutes of research it took me to figure this out. And obviously the quartering doesn't care about doing research and there's a lot of other news outlets that clearly didn't do the research either. And just wanted to be the first person out with the news. That's the problem with the media these days. Nobody does the research themselves. And it's quite irritating sometimes. So, I don't know. I wanted to make this video, get all this info off my chest. Yell at my bunny rabbit a little bit because I hate the damn thing. It tried to eat me. 
Um, and, you know, anybody that wants a bunny rabbit that's in Ohio, let me know. You can have him. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. You know, and I like I said at the beginning of this, I think I did. <clears throat> I'm not trying to make Mr. Beast sound like a bad person. He's an amazing person. He does a lot for charity. He does a lot for random people. What he does is amazing, especially with his YouTube fame and the amount of money he has. What he does is amazing. But people like the quartering that represent this false information, it could turn around and bite Mr. Beast in the ass because it's just it's false information. People are going to be like, oh, yeah, he created thousands of, thousands of jobs. And then people find out that he didn't. And he's just teaming up with these other restaurants. This is a normal thing. There's another YouTube creator that's actually doing this that I don't remember the name of. Somebody shoot this bunny rabbit. Anyway. <laughs> he shakes his cage when he's hungry, but I don't quite know how much to give him as far as like salad and stuff like that. So I need to wait for my girlfriend to get home to feed it. So then he'll stop shape, shaking his cage. But anybody who wants a bunny, my girlfriend's willing to give him up. So anyway, this bunny just triggers me because I hate having it because it bit me pretty severely in the wrist to the point that I almost needed stitches. Anyway, this can all turn around, bite Mr. Beast in the ass because, oh, he didn't create thousands of jobs. He's a terrible person. He lied to us about his restaurants. No, he didn't. He just said he has locations across the United States that can ship by Uber Eats to your door. He did not lie about anything when it comes to this kind of food and all that. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. There is another YouTuber that did the exact same thing. I don't remember the name. It was somewhere in the comments that I saw it. Uh, I'll see if I can find it real quick. Um, it was one that I interacted with, so I'm kind of surprised I can't just easily find it. Here it is. So I work in food distribu in the food distribution world. Let me tell you, there is an influx of quote unquote celebrity restaurants popping up using ghost kitchens to establish restaurants that are looking to increase their volume by marketing being takeout has increased due to COVID. It's most basic food attached to someone's name, restaurants, the same pumping out food and stuff like that. So yeah, basically, there you go. You know, and I talked to this guy. He does definitely sound like he knows what he's talking about. I believe him entirely for what he's saying. Realize I never thumbed up the comment. Um, Ghost Kitchens is a great name for what this is. So don't let you know. Don't let this bite Mr. Beast in the ass. He's a good guy and does amazing things. But people like the quartering and other YouTube channels that are going to re report this false information of get free stuff with your food at random. And um, he created thousands of jobs and all this crap. All false. Uh, these are simply just restaurants that are spoofing the name. You're ordering Uber Eats food. There's multiple YouTubers who, have, who are starting to do this. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's dumb. People like the quartering need to do a little bit more research. His videos are becoming pretty crummy and it's starting to be noticeable that he doesn't do his research pretty often. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.